Welcome back children. In the last video we discussed about the two types of frequency series, discrete series and continuous series. And we stopped with the discrete series. We finished discussing all the points regarding discrete series. And today we will be going to discuss about the continuous series. Now you know what is a continuous series. I just mentioned about the continuous series when I explained the difference between discrete series and continuous series. Continuous series is a type of series which assumes a range of values. Now today we will move on to, uh, we will discuss more about the continuous series. Now let me recollect the points once again for that. I have drawn a table for you. Here you can find the statistical series divided into two individual and frequency series. Now, in frequency series, again we have two divisions that is discrete series and continuous series. Now, we finished discussing the discrete series and today we will be moving on to continuous series. Now, you all know continuous series is a type of series which assumes the range of values. Now, the continuous series are again divided into exclusive series, inclusive series, opponent series, mid value series, cumulative frequency series, equal and unequal class interval series. These are the different types of continuous series. So we will discuss it one by one. Now before moving on to the different types of continuous series, we have to be familiar with certain terms which you have already learned in your class 10. The first point that we have to make a note is class. What is a class? A class refers to range of values which incorporate a set of items. So a class refers to range of values which incorporates a set of items. Here I have given the example 10 to 15, 15 to 20. Now let us assume these are the marks. Marks of economics which is conducted a class test conducted for economics and four students have secured marks between 10 to 15 so here four students means what frequency four students have secured marks between 10 to 15 so marks between 10 to 15 is secured by how many students four students so four students will be counted as frequency and the marks between 10 to 15 that assumes range of values so when we discuss about continuous series the first term that you have to understand is class class refers to range of values so 10 to 15 is the limit that means the marks between 10 to 15 is secured by four students here the exact measurement is not known for example how many students got marks 11 how many students got 12 marks we don't have a clear cut idea but we know that four students have secured marks between 10 to 15 the next concept that we have to understand is class limit what is class limit the extreme values of a class is called class limit Class limit means two extreme values. You have got the class as 10 to 15. Again, I am taking the same example 10 to 15. In the class interval 10 to 15, 10 is the lower limit and 15 is the upper limit. So 10 is the lower limit and 15 is the upper limit. The class starts with 10 and ends with 15. Therefore, 10 is the lower limit of the class and 15 is the upper limit of the class. Now we will move on to the next concept that is magnitude of a class interval. What is this magnitude of a class interval? It is the difference between the upper limit and the lower limit. I am taking the same example, the same class interval 10 to 15. So what is magnitude of a class interval? The difference between the upper limit and the lower limit. Now in this example, we can find the difference between the lower limit and the upper limit is 15 and 10. What is the difference between this lower limit and upper limit? It is 5. So the difference between the upper limit and the lower limit 
or the lower limit and the upper limit is known as what is the difference that is known as the magnitude of the class so the magnitude of the class here is 5 the next concept is mid value what is mid value the average of the upper limit and the lower limit is known as the mid value so the same class interval we can take that is 10 to 15 now how will you find out the mid value of this class 10 to 15 the formula to find out the mid value is l1 plus l2 divided by 2 because it is the average so to find out the average we have to take the total and divide it by the number how many numbers are there that is 2 isn't it 10 plus 15 divided by 2 that is the average so 10 plus 15 divided by 2 will give you the mid value so what is 10 plus 15 25 25 divided by 2 is 12.5 therefore 12.5 is the mid value of that particular series so this is with regard this, these are the basic concepts that we have to learn when we are going to learn about the continuous series so once again repeat the important terms that you have to understand before learning the continuous series what is a continuous series it is a series which assumes range of values now certain terms that you have to understand is one the first one is class class refers to the range of values which incorporates certain items for example 10 to 15 so here 10 to 15 means what the marks and frequency 4 4 students have secured marks between 10 and 15 exact measurement is not known here okay now the next one is class limit class limit is the extreme limit in the class interval 10 to 15 10 is the lower limit and 15 is the upper limit now the next one is the magnitude of a class interval magnitude of a class interval is the difference between the lower limit and the upper limit the difference is 5 then the last one is mid value mid value is the average of the class interval now what is how will you find out the average of the class interval l1 plus l2 divided by 2 lower limit plus upper limit divided by 2 that is 10 plus 15 divided by 2 will get 12.5 now we will move on to the types of continuous series i told you there are different types of continuous series like exclusive inclusive equal and unequal class interval open ended series etc we will move on to the first type of continuous series that is inclusive exclusive series now what is this exclusive series it is the series which in which every class interval excludes the items corresponding to the limit in this series the upper limit of one class interval will be the lower limit of the next class interval so two things you have to keep in mind here two important concepts that you have to keep in mind here is regarding the exclusive series is in the series every class interval excludes the item corresponding to the upper limit in this uh, series it will exclude the items corresponding to the upper limit upper limit so it it, in, it excludes the items corresponding to the upper limit then that is one point that you have to keep in mind it excludes the items related to the upper limit and the second one in the series upper limit of the class interval will be repeated as the lower limit of the next class interval now let us see the description of these two points with the help of an example this is the class here the marks frequency and tally mass is given the marks is given in the form of a class which assumes the range of values the range of values here are 10 to 15 15 to 20 then 20 to 25 25 to 30 and 30 to 35 now here it is very clear that four students have secured marks between 10 to 15 five students have secured marks between 15 and 20 
then 8 students have secured marks between 20 and 25, then 5 students have secured marks between 25 and 30 and 4 students have uh, secured marks between 30 and 35. Here we cannot say how many students have secured 26 marks, but we can say 4 students have, uh, 5 students have secured marks between 25 and 30 because it assumes a range of values. Now let us move on to the point which I explained to you first. What is that? In the exclusive series, in every class interval, it excludes the items corresponding to the upper limit. That means here in this series, 10 to 15 is the first class interval. In the series, 10 to 15 is the first class interval. Here, we will be including the items only from 10 to 14. 10 to 14. Why? Because the upper limit of the same class interval is repeated as the lower limit of the next class interval. I have told you, 4 students have secured marks between 10 to 15 in that the marks till 14 will be recorded in the first class interval. What is the reason behind that? The reason is the upper limit of this class interval is repeated as the lower limit of the next class interval. That means that 15 will be included in the next class interval. So if we include it in the first class interval, it will be repeated. That is why the explanation is given so. In this series, the items related to the upper limit of each class interval will be excluded. Point number one. Point number two, in this exclusive series, the upper limit of a class will be repeated as the lower limit of the next class. That is the explanation for the point. Now here you can find here frequencies of the upper limit of each class interval is excluded from the class. So here the frequencies of the upper limit of each class which is the upper limit here 15. In the first class interval upper limit of that class interval is 15. So item related to the upper limit of that class 10 to 15 is excluded from the first class interval. Why it is excluded? Once again, I am repeating because the upper limit of the class interval comes as the lower limit of the next class interval. So, automatically that item will be represented in the second class interval. That is why we are not including in the first class interval. So, this process goes on. This type of a series is known as exclusive series. So, I hope it is very clear to you. Exclusive series is a type of series in which the items related to the upper limit of each class is excluded from that class interval and the upper limit of each class will be repeated as the lower limit of the next class. Now here I have represented the frequency in the form of tally marks 4, 5, then 8, 5 and 4. So it is necessary that whenever you do the frequency you have to represent it in the form of tally marks which is also known as 4 and cross method. Now we will move on to the next series, next type of series in continuous series that is inclusive series. What is this inclusive series? It is that series which includes all items up to the upper limit. In this series, upper limit of one class interval will not be repeated as the lower limit of the next class interval. Just opposite of what we have learned in exclusive class interval. In inclusive class interval, how it happens? In inclusive class interval, in, in inclusive series, the items related to the upper limit will be recorded in that same class interval itself. Once again, I am repeating, in inclusive series, the items related to the upper limit of a class interval will be recorded will be included in that class interval itself. And one more point is there, in this inclusive series, upper limit of one class will not be repeated as lower limit of the next class. So just opposite of what we have learned in exclusive series. Now I can explain you this with the help of a table which I have written here. Marks, frequency and tally. Let us see, 
10 to 14 see the difference what was a kind of class interval that we have made in exclusive series it was 10 to 15 right let us check that see this was the class interval which was written for exclusive series 10 to 15 now what is the type of class interval that we have written for inclusive series here 10 to 14 so this is for exclusive series and 10 to 14 is for inclusive series okay so in inclusive series the i have written the class interval as 10 to 14 and all the items related to the upper limit will be included in the first class interval 10 to 14 that means marks 10 11 12 13 and 14 will be included in the first class interval the next point is that see the second class interval it starts from 15 to 19 here upper limit of one class is not repeated as the lower limit of the second class the second class interval starts with 15 to 19 that is the reason why we are expressing and including all the items till the upper limit in the same class itself in the first class interval you can find it is written as 10 to 14 all the items of that class including the items of the upper limit is recorded in that same class why because upper limit of that class interval is not repeated as the lower limit of the second class if it is repeated as the lower limit of the second class like exclusive series we need not record it in the first class interval but here the matter is different here in the inclusive series all the items of the till the upper limit is included in that class interval itself because it will not be repeated as the lower limit of the second class interval so that is the difference between inclusive series and exclusive series so i'll read out that statement once again in this series it includes all the items up to the upper limit that means upper limit is 14 here so mark 14 is also included in the first class interval and in this series upper limit of the class interval will not repeat as the lower limit of the next class interval you can find here the next class interval is not starting with 14 instead of that it starts with 15 so that is the difference between inclusive and exclusive series that means mark 14 if any child is getting 14 marks that will be included in the first class interval itself because upper limit of one class is not the lower limit of the next class so here also i have recorded all the frequency and tally bars are also represented here now you can find here all the values all the items ranging from 10 to 14 are included in that particular class interval because upper limit of a class is not repeated as the lower limit of the next class it is independent so that is the difference between exclusive series and inclusive series okay now we will move on to the next topic that is conversion of inclusive series into exclusive series if your series is given in the form of inclusive series how will you convert it into exclusive series now there are steps for conversion let us see the first step your if your data is given in the form of an inclusive series how will you convert it into a form of exclusive series that is what we are discussing now point number one find out the difference between upper limit and the lower limit of the next class interval so we will read the step one by one and after that we will do the uh, steps with the help of an example we'll solve the steps with the help of an example first one is find out the difference between upper limit and the lower limit of the next class interval so take two class intervals find out the difference between the upper limit of one class interval and lower limit of the next class interval second divide the difference by two divide the difference by two so here i have written one by two we will see what is that with the help of an example which i have given for you next is subtract 
half from the lower limit and add half to the subtract half from the upper limit and add to the lower limit so these are the steps for conversion okay so we will see uh, subtract the half from the lower limit and uh, add the half to the upper limit and add the half to the upper limit and add the half to the upper limit let us check one by one okay here is the example which I have given you the first table is inclusive series and the second table is exclusive series now regarding the first table 10 to 14, 15 to 19, it is an example of inclusive series. I need to convert this into exclusive series. Let us see how is it possible. Take the first step. Find out the difference between upper limit and lower limit of the next class interval. Upper limit of the first class and lower limit of the next class interval. Which is the upper limit of the first class here? 14. Which is the lower limit of the next class here? 15. Now, what is the difference between 14 and 15? It is 1. So, that is found. Step number 2. Divide this difference by 2. If the difference is 1, we have to divide it with 2. 1 by 2 is 0 0.5. So, once again regarding the step, find out the difference. Take the first two class intervals. Find out the difference of the upper limit of the first class and lower limit of the second class which is the upper limit of the first class here 14 which is the lower limit of the second class here 15 find out the difference between these two difference between 15 and 14 is 1 divide the difference by 2 so it is 1 by 2 1 by 2 becomes 0 0.5 then subtract this 0 0.5 or half from the lower limit and add half to the upper limit. Let us see how it is done. Now subtract. So what is given here? Subtract 0 0.5 from the lower limit of the class. Which is the lower limit of a class here? For example, the class 10 to 14, I am writing it here, for example, the class from 10 to 14, which is the lower limit of the class here, definitely it is 10. So take that lower limit and what you are asked to do in the step, you have to subtract that half or 0 0.5 from the lower limit. So if you subtract 0 0.5 from 10, what will you get? Definitely your value will be 9.5. Okay, that is what is written here 9.5. So that is the first class interval where we are converting the inclusive class into exclusive series. Now what is the next step that we have to follow? Subtract half from the lower limit and add half to the upper limit add 0 0.5 to the upper limit which is the upper limit of the class 10 to 14 it is 14 so what you have to do add 0 0.5 to 14 so what is 14 plus 0 0.5 it is 14.5 so we got the first class interval that is 9.5 to 14.5 similarly take the next class interval of inclusive series that is 15 to 19 yes 15 to 19 now what you have to do, take the lower class of this class interval, which is a lower class of this class interval, 15. What you have to do, subtract 0 0.5 from 15. So what will you get? 14.5, that is written here. Then take the upper limit of that class, that is 19. Add 0 0.5 to that, what it becomes? 19.5. So it is 19.5. Again, take the next class interval of inclusive series that is 20. So in 20 to 24 which is the lowest class limit it is 20. What you have to do with that subtract 0 0.5 from 20 you will get it as 19.5. Take the upper limit of the class that is 24 add 0 0.5 to 24 what will you get 24.5. So automatically an inclusive series is thus converted into exclusive series. How will you understand that it is an exclusive series? Because the upper limit of one class will be repeated as 
the lower limit of the next class that is the most important point that you have to make a note in order to see whether your series is an exclusive series what has to be done see whether the upper limit of one class is repeated as the lower limit of the next class let us see whether it is happening with the example that we have done here this is the upper limit of the class upper limit of this class is repeated as the lower limit of the next class here 19.5 is the upper limit that is repeated as the lower limit of the next class if this has happened you can definitely say it is an exclusive series so we have converted an inclusive series into exclusive series so this is all about the inclusive and exclusive series hope everybody has got it thank you